Let's take a look at formulas. Um, now you can use a calculator for all of these questions with the exception of questions two and three. So question number one, Jimmy earns £11.20 per hour. So how much will he earn in seven hours? Well, the calculation is simply £11.20 multiplied by seven. On the calculator, you can type in 11.2 or 11.20 times seven. The calculator will say 78.4 and you'll just need to turn that into £78.40p. Question number two, no calculator for this one. So if she can pack three tins in a minute, how many can she do in one hour? Well, one hour is 60 minutes. So the calculation is 60 times three. Three sixes are 18. So three sixties are 180. Question three, also non-calculator. So I think we just need to assume that he's gonna run at the same uh, speed for 5K as he does for 1K and also for 8K as well. So one kilometer is six minutes, so 5K is gonna be five times six minutes, which is 30 minutes. And for 8K, that's just gonna be um, eight lots of six minutes, which is 48 minutes. Question number four, a shoulder of lamb takes 40 minutes per kilo plus an extra 25. So we've got 1.2 kilos. So our calculation is going to be 40 multiplied by 1.2. And then we need to remember that on top of that, we're going to add those extra 25 minutes. 40 multiplied by 1.2 is 48. So 48 plus 25 is 73. So 73 minutes. Number five, the uh, the hire company charges this one-off fee of 20 plus three pounds 50 per hour. So if Maggie is going for three hours, it's gonna be 20 plus three lots of three pounds 50. Three times 350 is 10 pounds 50. So 1050 plus the 20 is going to be 30 pounds and 50p. Question number six, um, so the there's a one-off fee of 30 pounds plus 24.50 per month and Abdul wants it for 18 months so he's going to pay the um, the one-off installation fee plus the 24.50 multiplied by 18 and 24 pounds 50 multiplied by 18 is 441 so we just need to add the 30 on top we're going to get a total of 471 pounds Question number seven. So here it's cash back. So we're going to subtract 50 pounds from the, the overall price. So the overall price is going to be 12 months times 32 pounds per month. That comes to 384. Take away the 50 pounds cash back comes to 334 pounds. Question number eight. It's two pounds for the first 100 grams and then ATP for each additional 100 grams. So he wants to buy 400 grams. So the first 100 grams is gonna be two pounds. And then he's got three lots of 100 grams at ATP. So that's gonna be three times 80. And three 80s comes to um, two pounds 40. So in total, the pick and mix will cost him two plus two pounds 40, which is four pounds 40. He's got eight pounds, so yes, he will have enough money. He's, in fact, he'll have an extra 60p. Question number nine. Um, so the taxi driver charges a fixed fee of 250. So just for getting inside the, the taxi, it's two pounds 50 and 120 per mile. So if he's doing 4.6 miles, that's gonna be 4.6 multiplied by one pound 20. And then on top of that, plus the two pounds 50. Now 4.6 times one pound 20 comes to five pounds 52. Five pound 52 plus two pounds 50 is eight pounds and two P. So therefore the change is gonna be 10 minus 8.02. So the change he will receive is therefore one pound and 98 P. Question number 10. So all we need to do is um, put into this machine the number of hours worked, which is 12. So then we're gonna multiply that by 32. And once you've worked out 12 times 32, we're just gonna add 70 to it. 
12 times 32 comes to 384 and 384 plus 70 comes to a, a grand total of 454 pounds. Question number 11, again, we're just using the function machine, which is we're putting the number in, we're performing these functions and what comes out the other side. So 250 is going in, it's gonna be divided by 10, so that's gonna take it down to 25. And then we need to multiply 25 by 18 and 25 times 18 is 450 pounds. Similar thing for question 12, we're gonna put 23 into our function machine and then we need to multiply 23 by 4.5 and once we've got that answer we're then going to add 10 onto it. 23 times 4.5 is 103.5 add 10 comes out as um, 113 pounds and 50p. Again another function machine we're going to do 75 the first thing we're going to do is multiply it by 25 and then once we've worked that out we're going to add 550. 75 times 25 is 1875 plus the 550 comes to a total of 2425. Um, so is Dan correct? Should he have more than 2500? No, he should have 2425 which is less. So the answer to that question is no. Question number 14. So the combined salary of um, Aoife and a partner is £52,000. So the first thing we're doing in our function machine is we're multiplying the 52,000 by 4.4 and then once we've calculated that we will add £5,000 to it. 52,000 times 4.4 is 228800. And now if we just add 5,000 on top of that as well, we are allowed to use a calculator for this question. That comes to a total of 233,800. And they want to borrow uh, 230,000 from the bank. So um, is this is this more or less than the, uh, the maximum? Well, they can borrow this figure here. So the amount that they want to borrow is less than the maximum that they can borrow from the bank.